Hey guys, Boz here. New little series I'm going to be doing because I get asked this a lot. Uh, so I'm going to make a series of kind of like Windows tips, maybe Linux tips, maybe programs, um, maybe even console related, some tips and tricks. Uh, because I get asked a lot, why do you have this icon on your desktop? Why do you have that? How do you do that? You do this, you know, or you've mentioned this. So um, first thing we're going to talk about today in this episode is desktop icons now if you're like me you try to organize your desktop icons a lot of sometimes people just have them everywhere and they don't have any order to them uh, but a lot of people like them organized but they have a problem that we'll get into in a second so you can kind of see here on my left side of the screen I have some frequent things that I use application wise or folders for storing some stuff uh, some more audio, video, uh, mumble, different things, recording stuff up here, and then some games over here. This is actually my laptop, so I don't play a lot on it, so I just threw some stuff on here uh, real quickly just to have some stuff. Uh, but I've got everything laid out here the way I like it, and it's good. Now, there were, a lot of people try this initially, and then inevitably what happens, you do something that you automatically resort the icons so they're all over here alphabetically or sorted by some weird method or maybe even more so if you're a gamer you run a program and what it ends up doing is it actually sorts your or changes the resolution and all the icons get messed up and it could be all over the place and it's just you know it gets you frustrated and you don't want to resort it anymore so if you want to get around that there's a program called desktop okay and uh, we're gonna go right to the download for this. I'll put a link to the description of the video to get you to this web page right here directly. But you can see it's a very little tiny program. Uh, works in a lot of different languages. We'll click the English link, although I don't know if it really makes any difference. Um, and then we're gonna click the download button. And then it's, you basically got three options here. You can download the desktop okay.zip, and that's pretty much your 32 bit Windows version. You got your Unicode version, and this is more geared, it's still, I believe, 32 bit, but geared more towards using Unicode for the character set so it can be translated to different languages. And then this is the 64 bit version for Windows that are running 64 bit operating systems. I'm running Windows 10, and I am running 64 bit, so we're gonna grab that one. You click the link and you just wait and it's going to download. If it doesn't, you can click this direct link, but you can see it downloaded here. Very tiny program. We have it. Now I'm going to click on the uh, zip file and you can see there's basically just a little program here and this is the program. And now we've got it and we don't need this anymore. Now you could just put it on your desktop and run it. Uh, but it does save a configuration file next to this, so you'll have like two files on your desktop. Uh, if you have uh, hidden system files hidden, like uh, INI files and system files, if you haven't changed the default settings, you won't see it. But I don't really recommend just running this icon on your desktop, uh, you know, having the program on your desktop. I would put it in a subfolder. So let's just do this. We're going to do a new folder, and we're going to say desktop. Okay, and then we're going to put this in here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say cut, and then I'm going to go here to my desktop, I'm going to go to my D drive, and I'm just going to paste it here. Um, you could put it, like I would normally put it in like a folder called miscellaneous apps, and that's where I put a lot of programs that are not installable, where you just can run them. Uh, and I group them together but for the sake of this we'll just do that we're gonna go in this directory I'm gonna right click this one and I'm gonna say copy and then I'm gonna close this because I don't need it anymore and then I'm just gonna right click on the desktop and say paste shortcut so now we've got a shortcut to desktop ok I'm gonna click on it once here because I hate seeing that it's a, a shortcut and just clear that out And we're gonna stick it here now normally I wouldn't like this because the center icon on my monitor here has four over here icons and then five here. This would drive me batty. I'd either have to try to figure out something to put here or get rid of something. Uh, but we're going to leave it here for this. So then all we have to do is we double click desktop OK and here it is. You can see I, earlier I mentioned the whole language thing. It's still in uh, German here. So we're going to click on this desktop OK menu and we're going to go to this bottom, second from the bottom menu and we're going to find English. Here we go. So you can select your language of choice. Now, once you've got this program up, if your icons are where you want, just hit save. 
boom, you can see now it's saved a profile for where my icons are. Now let's just say something crazy happens and these icons get all out of whack and you're like, oh my, what has happened? You can just click on your profile and hit restore and boom, they're all magically back. Uh, you can have multiple profiles, you know, that's okay too. Now I want to mention one thing, you have two options on this. You can minimize it to the tray uh, or you can hit exit. If you hit minimize the tray or the X button, it's still down here. So I always, I'm not a big fan of just having it running because I hate to have anything running I don't need to. So we're just going to hit a, exit and it exits the program. So you know the only negative to this is you have to kind of save your profiles as you like add new icons. Because say we create a new icon and um, let's just make a folder here on the desktop. So we've got a folder here and let's say we have that right here. Now we haven't saved anything but you know, let's just do this way. Let's just say oop, you know um, all these things got moved out of the way. Oh let's fix it. Restore. You can see this one didn't move because we never saved a profile with that icon. So you do want to make sure you save now and then uh, unless you use some of the other features and leave the program running. But I, I you know I, I like this program. I think it comes in handy. It's a great way to have all your icons where you want it. It works with multiple monitors. I have this on my desktop. So on my desktop I have you know three monitors. It'll save the icons on all three in all the locations. So great program, 100% free. Check it out. Let me know if you like these little tips.